Hey guys, it's Zach with Blade HQ. We're at SHOT Show 2019. We're at the Leatherman booth, and I'm sitting here with Jeremy. How's How you doing? Good. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. And uh, Leatherman, uh, you guys kind of got something new going on. Yeah, we have six of the best multi-tools we've ever created uh, coming out this year in 2019, uh, all based on this new technology, this new magnetic architecture that we're really excited about, uh, what we're calling our new free line of tools. Uh, we have the P2 here, which um, is going to look and feel unlike anything you guys have ever seen. Well, right out the gate, you just basically belly flip that out. Yeah. So number one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. So, so one-handed opening. One-handed opening. Everything is accessible in this tool by one hand, including the pliers, as you guys just saw. Uh, the implements themselves have this magnetic uh, integration. So the implements are held in with magnets, giving you this really low tension field, smooth deployment, confident feel in hand uh, that even holds the handles to kind of together, giving you that free fall, which allows you to kind of flip it open. Uh, and what makes these, these tools really special is how you don't have to use your fingernails to access anything. So we have the Wave and the Wave has been the best multi-tool uh, yeah. in the industry for the past 25 years, the, right? The Wave and the Surge, hands down, my two, yeah. my two favorite from Leatherman, hands down. The Wave is absolutely a great tool. It is. One of its big hang-ups, though, is that you have to use your fingernails to kind of get everything out. With free, you don't got it. With free, everything's kind of accessible with a single flick of your finger. What, what makes this special is that if I'm working on a project, say I'm working in my truck and I got, I'm holding the water line closed with my hand and I need a tool real quick, otherwise I'm just going to spill coolant everywhere, uh, I got this tool that I can quickly get access to without dropping whatever load I'm holding with that one is, hand. That is really awesome. So this, <clears throat> so this is one thing that I found with like the, the wave or the surge mm -hmm. is that I, uh, mine's old enough, right? So yeah. it's pretty loose, so like I can dig yep. in there and it's not too big of a deal, but when my hands are cold yeah. or when I have a glove on, that's when it's problematic. So even with the glove, you mind if I yeah, go give for this it, a, little, for a little go at it? So even with the glove, oh, okay, yeah. So you just you just push up, select what you want, yeah, and then a nice piece of engagement at the top end so you know you're open and good. Yeah, very uh, strong click that you're gonna hear when you engage the, the implements so you know that they're locked into place, you're, yeah. you're ready to go. This is really rad. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's, with the combination of the magnets, we have new locks in there, a new cami mechanism, um, and some non-metallic springs that are actually interacting with the, the, the pliers themselves. These are hands down the, the most durable pliers that we've ever made. Um, the, the plier jaws themselves, uh, these are the strongest pliers in our full-size lineup to date. Uh, they come with our replaceable wire cutters. Which is great, because this is, this is why for a long time I only carried a surge. Yeah. Because I wanted those replaceable wire cutters. Oh so yeah, because you, if you damage your jaws, you, if you don't have those, yeah. they're hard, kind of hard, hard to replace. But those wire cutters, a simple uh, Torx head, and you're and rocking yeah, and rolling again. In business. You can look at the scales and you get, I don't know if you, you've, you've seen this, but we have a bar shape that's stamped right into the handle. What that bar shape represents is the PST. You know, the PST started this industry 35 years ago. Oh, yeah. uh, and we wanted to give a little tip of the hat to the PST in, in our new free line because free is absolutely the future of multi-purpose. Uh, it's something totally different. Um, so with the locks, the, the pliers, it, these, these tools are just absolutely awesome. And so that's the P2 with 18 total implements, uh, an MSRP of 120 bucks available online. Uh, it's bigger brother, the P4, features 20 different implements, uh, same replaceable wire cutters, it does have a lanyard hole, which you can upgrade to the deep set carry pocket clip if, if you'd like. Um, but same action, same one hand uh, access to everything, same magnetic architecture, same uh, plier flip if you'd like. Um, I gotta try the. I gotta try that open really. Yeah, quick. yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Let's see if I can make it happen. That is really cool. So you just it's just a pinch. Just a pinch. Just a pinch to break the magnet. Yep, and flip. And just flip. Bingo. Oh, that's awesome. And then what about one-handed close? Let's see. One-handed close, you can still do it. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Let's yep. see. I have to figure it out because this is my first time messing with this thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. That is really awesome. The main differences between the P2 and the P4, so the P2 is going to come with a combination blade, 420 okay. steel. Yeah. Uh, it still has scissors, while the P4 has a 2 and 3 quarter inch straight edge and a serrated knife. Okay. It also has a saw, still has your scissors. What really sets the P4 apart is that it's both left hand and right hand friendly. So you have access to a straight edge knife blade with your right hand 
in your left hand you have access to the serrated knife. So either way, easy access to yep. a good cut, cutting implement. Yep, it's friendly to anybody who's left hand or right hand dominant. Well, and which is great because even as a, I'm a righty, yeah. um, but even a guy who's a righty, that means usually that right hand is engaged somewhere if I need a one-handed yep. tool. Yeah. And so it's nice to know that I can just engage mm -hmm. a knife blade right out. Yeah. That's awesome. With the new pliers, you also get uh, a new uh, nylon sheath. Same nylon design, but with a new color. And you know, the whole point of this is to kind of make sure that if I'm carrying a free on my hip with that sheath, that people see that gray sheath and they know that it's the best multi-tool you can buy in the industry because uh, it stands out. It's not the black sheath, it's not leather, it's that gray nylon that free is gonna be known for. Hmm. Um, so th again, those are available in June, or sorry, April. April. What, what launches in June though is our new pocket tool models or what we're calling our T-series of knives. We have the T2 and T4. And it looks like these are running on the same same, same idea. Then. Same magnetic architecture that makes these okay. things really awesome. Same smooth deployment. What's really awesome about these uh, T-Series is that they're very lightweight, uh, very high-functioning multi-tools, great entry level if you kind of want to get into multi-tools or you want to start being a little bit more prepared. Yeah. Or if you are just uh, not in, the, in a need for a full set of pliers, you know? Yeah. Uh, so you have the T2, which features eight different implements, a two-inch uh, knife blade made of 420 stainless steel, the whole uh, makeup is a combination of 420 steel on the scales and glass filled nylon in the inlay. <clears throat> same deployment of implements, uh, same high density features, uh, weighs about 3.3 ounces at a retail price of 40 bucks, so it's really oh, affordable. That's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all. And now I'm noticing this one comes with a pocket clip, this one doesn't? Is that, yeah, so, so this is an in-pocket? That's an in-pocket. In okay. Both are designed for in-pocket, but this right. one does have the uh, Has pocket the clip. clip. Deep carry, nice deep carry clip though. This does have the holes though, in case you want to do an upgrade. Oh, okay, um, great. The T4, which you have there, uh, this is a little bit more feature dense without adding too much weight. So same uh, two inch knife blade, uh, same, uh, roll of the implements, but now you have the addition of a small file with a uh, standard screwdriver, inlaid set of tweezers, and oh, nice. a full set of scissors in the back. You gotta pop those tweezers out. That looks pretty trick. Where they, yeah, so those tweezers, just inlaid right into the they're handle. just inlaid right into the <laughs> handle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So everything in this tool is one hand operable, uh, except those tweezers. You gotta use yeah, two hands to kind of get that thing out. But this is an extremely uh, nice multi-tool. Very light, 4.3 ounces. Retail price is 60 bucks. Uh, so give you some comparison, like the skeletal weighs about 5.5 ounces yeah. uh, and what retails around 80. This thing is lighter, cheaper with more features. Uh, very, very great entry, everyday carry multi-tool. Hmm. So I have to ask though, so, so um, I tend to mess around in my shop a lot, right? Okay, and are you so, actually doing work or are you messing around? Yeah, I don't know, both, right? Okay. It just depends on the day. And uh, so one thing that I'm seeing with the magnets is uh, have you guys tested for like small particles getting up into the pivots because of those magnets kind of being yeah, yeah. In, that, so in that space? Yeah, yeah. So throughout our testing, we actually took these tools and just held them under a bench grinder and kind of just collected those, <laughs> collected right. some of that dust finally. Yeah, that's my worry is next to my bench grinder, I, I generally will like set a knife there. Yep. And so that would be my worry, right? So those magnets will collect dust. I'm not going to lie yeah, to you. Yeah, any pivot's going to collect. Yeah. Any pivot's going to collect dust. Yeah. But you can just clean these tools out with a simple Q-tip, uh, wipe it out with your finger. We really didn't have any issues. This tool actually still functions just fine right, just with, dirty. with the dust in there. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit grittier. Yeah. Maybe you like that feeling. Yeah. But <laughs> just simple maintenance of just wiping out the dust, uh, putting a little light oil in there, and you're good to go off and rocking. So just like anything normal. It's yeah. not anything excessive. Yeah. Also, if you're at home and you have your, your knife and you're holding it under a bench grinder, why? Stop doing that. They'll, they'll let them do that. You don't need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to, you can. We yeah, tested obviously, it. Yeah, but... obviously, but uh, no, that's, that's honestly, that's good to know because that is a place that I find, and especially my Leathermans, right? Like, I don't carry Leatherman daily. I carry it when I'm working in a trade, mm. right? So whether I'm, I'm working on my cars, whether I'm working, building a cabinet, whether I'm just in my shop messing around, yeah. right? Um, and those environments tend to have those kind of more little pieces of metal you yeah. can pick up. So that's good to know. That's good to know you guys tested for that. And then finally to close out 2019 and what we got coming out this year, we have uh, our K series or what we're calling our new multi-purpose knives. Uh, same, uh, just like the P and T series that we talked about, you have two different models. You have the K2 and K4, but you have two different colors and the colors are going to denote the different uh, style of blade. And so the aluminum finish, will, which isn't shown here, but it will have a combination edge. Um, okay. And then the dark gray finish will have a straight edge. Both 420 stainless steel, the handles are aluminum. The K2 is going to feature. And when you say straight edge, you don't mean like what you shave with, you mean like a plain, a plain edge blade. Yeah, just blade. a plain, plain edge, edge blade. blade. Um, 
So the K2 is going to feature eight different implements, same free uh, implement deployment uh, method, same tech, uh, architecture, deep set carry pocket clip. Uh, I think I mentioned aluminum handles. Yeah. But these tools are very smooth. Uh, to hold in hand and very, very solid tools. And I see with the deployment there, with the with the lock style you have on, if you just open the lock, you can just yeah. gravity deploy them. Oh yeah, a little, a little, yeah, too, a little too good sometimes, right? So there's no yeah. there's no ball bearing assist in there or anything. It's huh. just simple friction with the lock and the interaction yeah. that actually kind of just allow you to have that very smooth uh, deployment. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, and it allows, it, that locks on both sides, so it allows a pinch too, if yep. you want to go. I know some guys with a one-handed lock, they prefer a pinch over anything else, so. That's good to know that that's an option as well. And it also makes it, it left hand. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Huh. Uh, and then you have the K4, uh, which features nine different implants. Same feature set as the K2, but now you have the addition of scissors in the back. Uh, deep set carry pot clip again, aluminum handles, 420 stainless steel. Um, one thing that's really special about the free line is that they're all going to be labeled made in the USA. I mean, they are made in the USA along with the rest of our product line in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, Portland, Oregon. Still come with our 25-year guarantee, but we're making sure that everybody knows that our all these products are stamped with made in the USA. So, on the, for example, on the K-series, it's labeled on the knife blades. On the T-series, it's the same. On the P-series, it's actually uh, cast right into the jaws right there made in the USA. Yeah. Uh, which is which is honestly something to be really proud of, and that's mm -hmm. something that Leatherman I know pride you guys pride yourselves in, which yeah, is we a great thing. Absolutely, will not make multi tools anywhere else. Yeah, so that's wonderful. You know, and when you look at even something like this as a knife option, and you said the the blade on this is four twenty. Yep. Yeah, so four twenty steel. Um, when you look at this, it's it's definitely a little bit wider, obviously. Mm -hmm. But you said this has nine implements. Nine in it? implements. I mean, for nine implements, that's really not that wide. No, that's really not that bad. Comes in at around five ounces. Very light, easy carry. Uh, I mean, the K2 is even slightly sl slimmer than that, so it's not. Right. It's not too over the top. It's. I mean, it's a fairly great everyday carry knife. Yeah, for what you're getting, it's really. <clears throat> that is something you could put in your pocket or your backpack or whatever, and not yeah. have to stress out about it being too much. I mean, the beauty part about these things is that a lot of people carry a knife. Like uh, you're just saying, you don't carry a multi tool all the time. Uh, right. A knife. A knife in itself is just a great multi-tool, right? But a lot of people use knives for things that aren't knives aren't really designed for. You're trashing oh, never, your knife, I've, dude. All I've, the never, time. I've never pried with my knife too. Never, I've never done that. You never have? Oh uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, in case you ever decide to, <laughs> right. maybe you want to have one of these where you actually have a pry tool right built right into the back of the yeah the right knife. The knife. That's a, that's a pry tool right there. It's also a package opener and a medium screwdriver. There's a ton of functionality throughout the entirety of these lines. Yeah. I mean, we we built. Uh, we maximize functionality in down to the implement level in these multi tools. That's really neat. That is really neat. This is a this is this is a big deal for Leatherman, man. It is absolutely the future of Leatherman and <laughs> probably the future of the industry. Actually, I guarantee you, it's the future of the industry because wow. there's no other multi tools that our competitors are making that are going to feel like these out of the box. That's really cool. That is really cool. Um, now, for anybody who's worried though, when you say this is the future, you're still making all the regular stuff too, right? Oh yeah, we're still for, making all the for, same. For regular anybody stuff. who's in love like me, I'm a sucker for that surge, right? Still, oh yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's not going anywhere. Those those tools that you guys know and love are still going to be in play. Yeah. This is just going to be a whole new line for Leatherman, it, and we have not wavered from our quality at all. Like it still comes with the same 25 year guarantee. The only difference is is that, you know, 35 years ago Tim Leatherman started this industry with the introduction of the PST, and uh, and we took that same 35 years of consumer feedback and experience uh, that no one else can have because they haven't been around that long and we rolled that into these multi-tools uh, and made the best set of multi-tools that Leatherman's ever made. And I'm really excited, really proud to be part of this launch. It's pretty exciting. That is really cool. I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to get one of these because there has been more than one time that I have needed a one-handed application on my Leatherman and oh, yeah. then, you know, you, you just take the fan off the roof and then set it on the ground and then get the Leatherman out and then, right? Like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's uh, this is really, really awesome. I'm gonna definitely have to get one of these and uh, put it through some paces. Great. So, really neat stuff, really neat stuff. Um, all right, well, this is, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm like super, I'm like just jazzed right now. Like, <laughs> it's well, awesome. I've been, I mean, I carry one, I've been carrying one for a few months now and I can't tell you how awesome it is. Just to, like, I'm always in meetings now, just kind of just sitting there doing this just little like, slide. <laughs> like an always. Nice. No, this is, like I said, this is really exciting. Um, let us know in the comments, guys, what you think and let us know in the comments which one you would want to have. Uh, we'll have these at Blade HQ. Very, very soon. It sounds like April, June, we'll get a couple drops. Yep, April for the P-Series, yeah. June for the T-Series, uh, July for the K-Series. Everything's go. in stores August. Um, you can always go to our website, Leatherman.com, if you really want some more information. For uh, sure. Follow us on Blade HQ or Leatherman.com. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Right on. Well, thanks for having us, man. No problem. This is, uh, this is some exciting stuff. Yeah, thanks for coming yeah. by. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out our 2019 SHOT Show playlist. And uh, I think me and uh, Jamie, who's behind the camera right now, I think we're going to have to stay here and, and play around a little bit. Absolutely. Get a little yeah. more hands-on. So but uh, we do have more videos coming, so make sure to keep your eye, and we'll see you guys soon.